This video is brought to you by Stockagogo.com Stock Photos. From ABC, this is World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. And now the ozone layer. The Environmental Protection Agency formalized a plan today that this country and 23 others agreed to in Montreal in September. A plan to freeze the production and use of the chemicals believed to be damaging the ozone layer, which protects us from the sun's dangerous rays. In Washington, here's ABC's Bettina Gregory. In the next 10 years, coolants and air conditioners and refrigerators will have to change. So will foam insulation, chemicals used to produce computer chips, and even styrofoam fast food containers. That's because they contain or are manufactured with chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs for short. As these chemicals rise into the air, they destroy the ozone layer, which protects us from the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays. The result? A dramatic increase in skin cancer, cataracts, and other diseases. Satellite pictures reveal there's already a big hole in the ozone layer over Antarctica six months of the year. The purple area shows where the ozone is severely depleted. Today, the EPA proposed to freeze the production of CFCs at 1986 levels and cut it in half by 1998. The problem, the EPA admits, is substitutes are not ready now. We're a good ways from having substitutes that are equivalent. The 10-year time frame we think is sufficient time for development of those substitutes. The EPA says the 50% reduction in 10 years' time will stop the destruction. Environmentalists disagree. It won't even stop the buildup of these chemicals in the atmosphere and ozone depletion which is already going on will continue and probably will get worse. But the EPA concedes in order to improve the level of the ozone layer and cut down the existing level of skin cancers, the world will have to reduce these chemicals by more than just 50%. Bettina Gregory, ABC News, Washington.